come back. It's too late now. I need you, Harry. You're not stopping me! I'm not here to stop you. I didn't have to fish you out of the water, did I? Stop talking! 
You can't talk me out of this. I'm not here to stop you. I pulled your file at the station. I told you that, right? If you're telling the truth, this doesn't make sense. But I think you are telling the truth. I believe you think you're Harry Mason. Hell, I believe you are Harry Mason. But Harry Mason was killed in a car crash 18 years ago. You want answers? I guess they're waiting in there. That's the lighthouse? <sighs> Nothing's quite what you expect, is it? First thing tomorrow, I'm gonna hand in my badge. I don't think I'm cut out for police work. Not in this town. Good luck. Thanks. This is going nowhere. I'm spelling it out, but you're not listening. Your troubled school days? How you're conflicted about marriage? Your denial of death? The unfounded guilt? Abnormal sexuality? 18 years of denial. A whole universe of fantasy in that thick skull of yours. A skull teeming with agents of repression. Blind children clutching photos in the dark. Pale freaks, goggle-eyed from watching home movies on loop. The term is complicated grief. But it's simple, isn't it? A young girl. Her parents don't get along. She blames herself, as all children do. Then daddy dies. What's a girl to do? Deny that daddy died. Deny who daddy was. What seven-year-old actually knows who their parents are anyway? So she obsesses and obsesses over this fantasy dad propping up her make-believe with scraps, scraps of a happy life that never was, scraps of a father who never existed. Wake up! Your dad wasn't a hero. Wasn't your knight in shining armor. He was a human being. You never knew him. And you never will. The dad walking around in your head isn't even a ghost. He never existed. A Frankenstein's monster, a child's fantasy. But you're alive. Your mother is alive. She's not the monster you make her out to be. You need to live your life. Cheryl.
direction. Come on then, girls, introduce yourselves. I'm Michelle, and I'm New the Witch High's prom queen. And our next star? <laughs> I'm Lisa. I'm a nurse. And I'm Harry Mason, famous author and seducer of prom queens and nurses. Can we be in your next book? Sure. Can you dedicate it to us? No. Dedications are always to my wife and daughter. It's only fair. <laughs> in your mind's eye lives a memory hard to find Blinded by sorrow and her cold voice sings a memory If you're here, can you prove your reason? 